All right, welcome to Karamo. Friends, my guest Caprice is overwhelmed with anger, confusion, and most of all, fear. Caprice originally contacted me to find out if a man named Clarence is her biological father. But just last week, Caprice's mom, Pam, dropped a bombshell on her and revealed to Caprice that she does not believe she's Caprice's biological mother. Oh. Everyone, please welcome Caprice to the show so we can talk about this. How are you doing? Hello, how you are you? Look beautiful. Doing? Right. Thank you. So, all right, all right, so did your mom ever tell you that story? Because I know you just found out this information <laughs> four days ago. Four days ago. Four days ago. Four days. Your mother says, I don't think I'm your mom. Yes. Tell me what went through your head. Um, I contacted y'all, so her counter reaction was, you're not my daughter. I believe, you know, they switched with the hospital. I just don't think you mind. Yeah. And, and this is as you're telling her that you're going to contact me so that you can confirm that Clarence is your father, yes. right? Yes. So you're here searching for your dad, making sure, getting wanting clarity in that, and your mother pops up with, well, I'm not your mom either. Right. All right, so growing up, what was your relationship like with your mother? Hell on wheels. Hell on wheels. Yes. In what way? Even though I filmed about four days ago, she's always treated me like I wasn't hers, like mean. It hurt, because you told me she wished I was never born. So, so Pam, why didn't you tell your daughter that you had doubts? I didn't feel the need to have to tell her. Why not? Because when I got there, I fell asleep. After everything was over, I asked, could I see my baby? And when they brought Cat Freeze over, she was beautiful. But it, she, that isn't my baby. Who takes a baby home from a hospital that I do not believe is mine? You, if the baby, you don't believe the baby is, we're not leaving. We're not leaving. My mom was there with me through the whole process. When I said this, this is my baby, my mom said, mm. Pam, shut up. I seen this baby come out of you. This is your baby. So for a whole year, I accepted the fact that somebody was going to knock on the door and tell me that th they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But after that year, nobody came. I just accepted the fact that God blessed me with this beautiful baby that don't look like nobody wait I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If, so you told, you said you only took me home from the hospital because I was beautiful? Because my mom said you were mine. No, but you, she can't stop you from feeling any way, type of way? But at 16, Caprice, when I seen this, seen this adorable baby, like, I couldn't even picture it in my mind. Who child is that? Because it looks nothing like nobody yeah. I knew. So you were 16 when you had your daughter? Yes. Okay, then. Is there anybody in your family that Caprice you think looks like? No. No one. Interesting. All right, listen. Um, I think it's very important that we get to Clarence's side of this story. Yes. So I would love to bring Clarence out. Everyone, welcome Clarence out. Yes, welcome to the show, Clarence. Thanks nice for being here. How you doing, Ron? Good, sir. Thanks for being here so much. Uh, so, Clarence, I wonder how are you feeling right now? Uh, Angry. Uh, I feel like a part of my life been lost for a long time, and I know I could never catch up with the things that that took place. But I, I, I thought she was mine since day one. What do you want to say to Pam right now, Clarence? I want to say that if we, if you would have just gave me the chance, and we could have did this DNA, then if you really didn't know. We could have did it then. We could have changed a lot of this. But I want to, I, I didn't come here to, to, to uh, hurt all over again. I came here to heal, you know? And I, yeah. I, I want to I heal this. Listen, there is a timeline here that is important to highlight, um, which Pam B was pregnant in December of 1985, gives birth 86, Clarence sees the baby 86, Clarence meet Caprice at um, 2012, and a week ago, she 
you know, Pam says that she's not my daughter, that you're not her daughter. And today, we'll finally answer all of this mystery. Yes. Right? This timeline that's been going on forever. Yes. How are you feeling that today you'll get answers about if this is your mother and if this is your father? I'm not worried about that. I want the results I came here for, for my children and I to be at peace so they can have a grandpapa and I can have my dad. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Pam, what about for you? This is a big moment. Like I said, I just hope I'd rather Clarence be her father and me have been a, have, have had a drunk moment and don't remember than my daughter to find out that we not hers. Listen, everyone, I have two sets of outcomes right here. One is the maternity and one is the paternity outcomes of this DNA. This is where you get to find out, I know you said you're not worried about it if this is your mother. She made the claim and so and she requested that she was tested. And we also have for your potential father right here. Um, I think it's time for you, Mom, to answer this first. And... Pam, I'm gonna go ahead and open Usually I give this to you all, but for me, because I do agree with you of like, if this was your child, if you were questioning, I understand being 16, I understand your parents having control and saying, you know, whatever, but if this was not your child, Someone would have spoken up. Someone would have said something. So I want to actually read this myself. So the first one is the outcome if you, this is your daughter. Are you ready for this? Caprice is your daughter. Ooh, this is the part. I just want to get through that quickly because at the end of the day, this is your child. And you, Thank you, you God. can take that out of your mind. <laughs> you can take that out of I your mean, mind or whatever. I'm so scared. Okay. But I'm about to give you the envelope, Caprice, to open it up. This is the outcome of the DNA test that you did. What's going on? What are you feeling? Because I just want it to be, and I can't make it, but I want it to be. <laughs> she wants to take everything from me. A big moment. I'm still here for you. I'm still here for you. All right. I'm going to give you the DNA envelope, Caprice. <laughs> please read <laughs> the outcome and please tell us what you read. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it says he is not my father. <laughs> So sorry. Oh my God. I want to know how many other people is going to get tested. It's not how many other people is going to get tested. It's your father that I said been your father all these years. No, he it's not. not my fault that you said back in the day it was okay to be a hoe. No matter what I said. You really was living it, though. I, you can't tell me what I was living. I don't want to. You're wrong. No, she can't. All right. The bigger question here now is can this mother and daughter relationship be healed? And I do believe that y'all can take the steps to heal this relationship. Hear me out. But, Mom, there's a lot of work you got to do. And I know that there's, there's a lot of work you got to do. Mom. There's See? something about... I, I mom, know you've seen that face, right? I saw the face. I saw the face. But... I also know that you are a 16-year-old, that there are things that was going on in your life that I can't even begin to understand or know, and I'm not going to ask you to bring them up right now. But there's something regarding her birth at 16 that made you start to resent it, that made you start to disassociate from it, to say, nope, 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 you're not mine, from the minute she was born. There was something about the pain you were experiencing or the life that you thought you should have that you started to reject her immediately. No. Whoa. I did not reject my daughter. I did not reject. I did not reject my baby. I'm open to hearing. I rejected. I didn't know for sure she was mine, but I loved my baby, so, so, and it was no rejection. So, so, so let me just tell you this really quickly. So when I say rejection, oh it doesn't mean that you didn't have love in your heart 
for your daughter. But you didn't show no compassion. You didn't show no your love. Your daughter is telling me You that told she... me you hate me. You wish I was never born. Your daughter is I'm saying... never going to forget I that. I never said that. Yes, you mm. did. Yes, this you is, did. And she said it to my brother too. before, too. Listen. This is your daughter's Listen, truth. my yes, daughter, she did. one day I can pick up the phone and it's, hi, mom, how you doing? No, love we're you. not doing none of that. We're here for Next DNA. Next day, no, no. bitch. I'm you, all kinds of things. Because you do stuff that's so you, weird. Look, all you're hearing right now is You go pain, over there and, and I know you had your own pain, but as a mother, you have recently. to be able to relax and say, you know what? I can't, I can't match your pain. I got to be there to support you to heal. Clearly, you had some trauma at your child that you were in group home. You were drinking. You got pregnant at 16. You had your own trauma. He's nodding his head. He was there. But you can't continue to say, well, you know what? I have my trauma, so I'm going to match your trauma. I'm going to say mean things. She's saying mean things because she's in pain. She doesn't want to meet this man because she's in pain. She feels rejected and abandoned. I don't know what you went through, but you can actually start to heal yourself and your daughter. Yes. You can do that. Yes. And I believe you have the strength in you to do it, but you have to first say, I want to do it. Do you want to heal the pain that your daughter feels? Do you want to heal the pain that you felt as a little girl? I don't like when she go over there. Do you want to up. heal the pain for your family? Is that me and your friend? Do you want to heal the pain that your daughter is feeling? I would love to feel the pain that she's feeling, but... So great. Don't... Hold on. No, no, no. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get your mother to a place where she can acknowledge your pain and she can start to hear it. That's a big thing for her to even take a moment. I know for you, because you've had years of being abused, that you feel like she didn't want you. For you, you can't see that. I'm an outsider. She just said she wants to heal it. I know I'm not... I know I see your face because you think that I'm calling you a bad person. I'm not. I'm telling you what she says. This is what she felt. I just met you. And what I'm trying to do is give you the tools to get to a place where your daughter can hear you, where she can hear you, where you can hear her, where y'all can love each other. So I know you make the face because you think I'm judging you. I swear to you, I'm not ain't, judging you. It ain't because I think you're judging me. You I'm just saying, is? like, I feel the same pain. I know you do. I just Because I felt like she didn't want me. Yo. You keep... Hold on. But listen, you already said that you're willing to take the steps to heal, and that's a big step, and I acknowledge you for that. But there's work that has to be done here. Can I see that? Which one? <laughs> she mm -hmm. think I, I am not the hers. The, that, the one for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a step backwards. Yeah. You looking at... The, hold on, let yeah. me tell you this right now. You yeah. looking at this right now is a step backwards. Oh, Pain. This is a moment of you moving forward. I'm, I'm giving you tools and trying to tell you, I hear you and see you. Don't do this. This is a step backwards. Do you really need to see this? And embarrass me some more. Do you really need to see this? You see it as an embarrassment, Caprice, but what There's I'm, your mom. What I'm this saying is, is backwards. yo, I can't even. This is your daughter. My mother told me, this is your baby. And I'm telling you too, this is your baby. So own it. Own it. This is your baby. I can be prettier than the family. This is your baby. This is your child. And your child is in pain and needs healing. And you just acknowledge you'll take the first step to start doing that healing. The second step, you have to talk to this man and tell him that he must take a DNA test. Your mother has acknowledged, but don't do this anymore. Don't do this. Don't deflect by saying, well, I don't know if I'm your mom. Don't do that. It takes a step backwards. I, 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 I hear your pain, there you and go. I'll do whatever it is to, to at least try to make things better. Yeah, listen, I know that's going to be hard for you to accept. Yeah. I know that's hard for you to accept, yeah. but she took a big step. She's saying, in your, all your years, have you ever heard your mother say, I acknowledge your pain? No. She didn't have the tools. She treated me like that on purpose. You have options. You ain't got to have tools. You, when you're responsible for another human being. I know. You treated me horrible. I know. You think I yes. treated you horrible? Yes. And I think horrible. you treated me horrible. Because you deserved it. You are the link in, in helping her and also helping yourself. And I know you probably don't see that, but you are the link. And I actually believe you can do it. So when your daughter starts telling you about her pain, don't match it by saying, this is my pain. Match it by saying, I'm going to heal you and I'm going to learn how to heal myself. 
You got it? That's what you got to do. If you take nothing away today, take that. Let that be the tool you use. Because then she'll start to realize, like, okay, mom's actually willing to do the work. You got two action steps I gave you. Contact this man, get him to give you a DNA test for your daughter. And the second thing, when she comes with her pain, what are you going to say? You can do it. I believe in you. I do. I truly do. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? When she's showing you her pain, what are you going to say? I see your do pain. Do the best I can get, do to help her. But if you take this step, the DNA, with the man that you said is her father, and also by telling her that I'm going to help you heal while I heal myself, I promise you, y'all going to be on the right path. Okay. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.